Today I will show you how to buy and sell the Crank token on Cadena and also how to import it into your wallet so you can have a better view at it. And for that hop over onto the Crank website and then click on dashboard and now we will have to log in with our Google account so just click on sign in with Google and sign in with the account of your choice and after that you'll be directed to the crank dashboard now what you want to do is hop over to wallets because we will first have to create ourselves a wallet now you'll see that you'll have to set yourself a password so just do this and click on submit now we are set and that password was for your account so after you log out or let's say we close this site click back onto the dashboard and want to access our wallets um, first we'll have to put in our password so let me do this real quick and now we are back logged in now what you want to do is click on create a new wallet and create yourself a wallet inside the crank dashboard because i think this is the easiest way so just click on create a new wallet and now you can see your secret key please don't let anyone see this because with the secret key they will have access to your wallet and you don't want that so keep this one safe and actually keep this one safe because you don't want to lose it now the best way of course would be to write that down so i encourage everyone to write this down but because you have to use it maybe having it on your computer or somewhere safe isn't a wrong option and the way i do it i went over to the flux cloud and got myself uh, 100 gigs of uh, flux drive decentralized storage now i think i'm gonna downgrade that because i don't need as much storage right now but it really allows me to save my documents up here on the flux cloud which is decentralized and i am completely safe nobody's gonna take them from me because i don't want to save those kind of things on let's say um, the uh, google cloud or whatever there is out there so this is something i am using right now basically for some documents or stuff i really want to keep safe and don't want to lose them so just for your information i'll put you all the links in the description so you can check that out but after you have written and copied your secret phrase you can click on i understand there you'll have to re-enter your secret phrase so they know you've got it written down and then click on create after that you have created yourself a wallet in the crank dashboard and are set to go and this up here is your private uh, public key which you will use to send Cadena to. And this is exactly what we are gonna do. Copy that public key, head over to your wallet and send yourself some Cadena. Just make sure to send it to Chain Zero. It does not have to be on Chain Zero on your Echo Wallet to send it to Chain Zero. You can send it like me from Chain One. So I'm choosing Chain One. This is my balance on Chain One. This is my account or my destination account where I'm sending it to. And then the target chain is gonna be zero because Crank currently is on chain zero. Click on continue, choose the amount you wanna send. Let's say six KDA, click on next and then confirm th this transaction. And now we will just have to wait um, a minute or two until my Cadena arrives here and then we can continue. Now that our KDA arrived and we can see our balance here, we can hop over to the exchange tab and start exchanging our KDA for crank tokens. And you can see the actual crank price up here, which is 0.434 KDA. On the right, you can see the recent trades and on the left, the order book. But what's interesting for us is the trade section down here. And the only thing to keep in mind is when buying crank, don't use 100% use 90% otherwise it won't go through so let's see how this goes we will start off with the KDA price and you will also see different people have different opinion on that some people say choose a little higher price or a little lower price but honestly it depends on what the market is doing where it is going and I don't know if it's gonna go up or down I mean you can have a look at the recent trades or the order book but what I usually do and what works is just type in the price where it is right now so 0 0.43 and I'm gonna use 90% of my KDA which will give me 12.44 crank the total amount of KDA used is gonna be 5.4 and down here you can choose the validity I usually just uh, let it at 10 I mean you can always cancel it if you want and then all you have to do is click on buy crank and now wait one or two minutes until this is settled on the blockchain and then we will see it here at open orders until it is filled and then it'll hop over to closed orders. So 
I'll see you in a second. All right, and it only took me a minute, but you can see my open orders up here. And now we will just have to wait until the order goes through. And this may take a few minutes, may go through immediately. We'll just have to wait. So yeah, I'll let you know when this order is filled. Ladies and gentlemen, I experimented a little bit with some trades because down here you can see this is not my original order. And if I hop over to closed orders, you can see my order closed around 30 to 35 minutes later. If you want to get yourself some crank tokens and you are not in a hurry, you can do this easily. It'll go through eventually. But I also experimented with a few trades and I bought some crank tokens for 0.435 KDA because I looked at the order book and I saw someone is selling their crank for that price and I took advantage of that. So I opened that trade. And if you hop over back onto open orders, you can see the status section. For example, this trade is now fully tradable. So I think it should be executed soon. And when I did that trade for those crank tokens, it immediately said partially um, partially tradable because I think the other person was willing to sell their crank tokens for that price and I wanted to buy them so it would be executed faster. Both transactions went through now and this one should also go through very soon. As you can see, now we re reloaded the page and the transaction went through. We have bought ourselves crank, uh, crank tokens now and now you are also able to sell them if you want. So let me just reload this page and then log into my wallet again. And then we should see our crank balance updated. We now have 13 crank and same shit if we want to sell it. Price is 0 0.434. So let's type that in 434. And I just want to sell one crank token because I want to hold them. All I have to do is click on sell crank. And now our request was sent to the blockchain. Give it a minute and you'll see it again under open my orders. And when it gets filled, you'll see it under closed orders. Congratulations, you just bought yourself some crank tokens. And if you now want to view them in your echo wallet or you sold them and want to sell your KDA or just want it on another wallet, let me show you how to do this. So hop over onto the wallets tab and there you'll see your wallet as well as your KDA and crank balance. Now you will need your public key as well as your secret phrase. So to make it easier, open your X wallet, click on settings and just open the da, 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 expand view so it doesn't close on you. And now hop back to the crank dashboard and copy your public key. When you're on the Echo Wallet, click on the three dots up here and then import wallet. And that's basically it. Put in your public key under the account name, hop back to the crank dashboard, click on those three dots and reveal your secret key or take it from wherever you have sa uh, saved it. So let me quickly do this. Copy my secret key back to the Echo Wallet and just paste it under the uh, your private key section and make sure to, uh, to choose chain zero because that's where Crank is running on. Click on import wallet and now you can see my wallet imported inside my, um, my main Echo wallet and I can also switch between those accounts. To actually see your Crank tokens um, up here because you can only see your KDA tokens, click on plus. Um, let me quickly close this. We can also do this in that format. Now just click on plus and for the token contract address type in, uh, wait, what was it? Free dot crank zero one and the token symbol is CRKK for crank. And now I can see my crank tokens as well as my KDA tokens, which is great. And now if I wanted to send myself KDA or crank to another wallet, I could easily do that. But also for everyone who did not know, you will not be able to import your Echo Wallet into the Crank dashboard. Because let's hop back to our wallet section. And at the beginning, we created ourselves a new wallet. And there's also the import section. And I know a lot of Cranksters wanted to import their Echo Wallet into the um, Crank dashboard. But that that's not possible because your Echo Wallet only allows you to hold your 12 uh, words for your secret uh, recovery phrase and you don't have any secret phrases for your accounts. 
even if you create multiple accounts because I just said it in my last video. Um, let's quickly hop over to this tab and you can see the accounts I created on my Echo Wallet. Now I just deleted them or removed them from the wallet so you can't see them right now. But if I were to create new wallet, so let me just create a few wallets so you see what I mean. Um, those wallets are the same wallets as you can see in my video, the same wallets I created a few days ago. It doesn't matter that I removed them, they will still be in my account and this is also why you won't have a secret phrase for any of those accounts. You only have your 12 words which are your secret recovery phrase and it doesn't matter if I now hop over to my mobile wallet and create a few wallets, it will always create the same wallets. So no, you can't import your Echo wallet to your Crank dashboard but you can export your Crank wallet. Um, from your crank dashboard into your Echo Wallet. And in future, there's also gonna be Koala support. We'll just have to wait for that and also the Koala browser extension, which is really great, but this should basically be it. It is easy peasy to sign up an account and log in into the crank dashboard. Then just create a new account, send yourself some KDA over onto chain zero and then hop over onto the exchange open some orders and then get yourself some crank tokens, import it into your wallet if you want. This is also the way you can send yourself Cadena over to another wallet and then exchange it for whatever you want. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to help you. And as I said, all the links are in the description, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.